Genie Plus versus Lightning Lane. What's the difference? What do they mean? If you've wondered about this, don't worry, you're not alone. I've been around the parks a lot and I've actually overheard this question asked a number of times to cast members. So I'm gonna go ahead and fill you in on what is the difference between Genie Plus and Lightning Lane. So let's jump right in. <laughs> Before we get started, if you find this video helpful, please like and subscribe and share it with somebody who is heading to Disneyland soon and needs help figuring out these terms so that they can make the best of their Disneyland vacation. All right, so you're planning your trip to Disneyland and you wanna make the most of it. You wanna maximize your time. You wanna get on the, all those big, awesome rides. Well, Genie Plus and Lightning Lanes are things that Disneyland offers to enhance our experience and make it so that we're able to enjoy ourselves more and spend more time exploring and seeing different things rather than waiting in line. So I personally love this service, so let's explain them. Okay, so Genie Plus is something that, it's almost like a reservation system. It holds your spot in line for you so that you you don't have to wait in line for some of these big rides. Um, it is a paid service, so you're going to pay the the amount that you pay depends on the day. So that the cost varies depending on the day. If it's a busy day, it's going to cost more. I think right now it caps out at about thirty dollars, um, and then I think the least expensive day is around eighteen dollars or so. Um, so that price changes from day to day. And don't worry if you don't know how to get Genie Plus, I have a video. Just tap the little link on the screen above, and that will take you to my video on how to purchase Genie Plus. So Genie Plus is the system, it's the service that you buy. Now, when you compare it to Lightning Lane, because sometimes people use that term interchangeably or they're confused between the two, the Lightning Lane actually refers to the physical queue that you can walk into that helps you skip or that lets you skip the lines. So if you have purchased Genie Plus, you will then take your reservation and you will scan into the Lightning Lane, which is the physical queue. And you will see signs above rides that say the Lightning Lane or the standby queue. If you have Genie Plus, you get to use and you have a reservation, you get to use the Lightning Lane. So the Lightning Lane is just the physical queue. Now, where it can get a little bit tricky and I wanna differentiate is that in each park, both Disneyland and Disney California Adventure Park, there is one ride in each park that actually has an individual Lightning Lane, meaning that if you purchase Genie Plus, these two rides are not included in Genie Plus and you have to purchase an individual Lightning Lane, an individual um, queue to be able to skip the line. And in Disneyland, that is the Star Wars Rise of the Resistance and in Disney California Adventure Park that is the Radiator Springs Racer attraction. So those two if you purchase Genie Plus you cannot reserve a lane for that through the Genie Plus system. You have to purchase those individually and again those prices vary based on the day. So to sum it all up Genie Plus is the service that you purchase and Lightning Lane is the queue the physical queue that you actually stand in to get on those rides that you have reserved. I hope you found that video helpful. Again please like and subscribe share with a friend Friend, and make sure you watch my other videos on Genie Plus before you head into Disneyland. Have a good one and I'll see you in my next video.